So the moment that we've all been waiting for, uh, nine episodes into the show, we finally uh, get the reveal of what happened to baby Jericho. uh, And uh, what now? Uh, What now with Julian, with Sean, with Dorothy, and more importantly, what now with Leanne? Uh, How does she handle the news? We're going to talk about all that and much more. Episode 9 of Servant was titled Jericho. Leanne acts out at Dorothy after learning the truth about baby Jericho. What's going on, everybody? Elliot here from Movie Files, back with my weekly recap, breakdown, review of the latest episode of Apple TV Plus show, Servant. Uh, this is episode nine. This is my spoiler review, as I've been doing for the last past nine episodes. So for all that seen the, uh, the episode thus far, you're in the right place. Uh, and those that haven't seen it, go check it out and come back and watch this review. But before we dive into it, for those that are new to this channel, definitely consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that bell so you can stay up to date with all my latest Apple TV reviews, other TV reviews, movie reviews, unboxings, and giveaways. And speaking of giveaways, stick around to the end of this video so you can find out how you can win Joker, uh, one of the most talked about films of 2019. So definitely find out how you can win that movie. Um, and make sure you comment below. Let me know your thoughts of this episode. I'm, I'm still kind of shell-shocked. I literally just got done watching an episode less than five or ten minutes ago. And it is now about 12 o'clock on Thursday night that I'm reviewing this uh, this show. And uh we got a lot to talk about, so let's just get right into it. As I normally do, I break down the episode and kind of share my thoughts within the breakdown. So let's let's start this off, man. First and foremost, like I said, just kind of emotional for me. It's just like, wow, that was, you know, this was the first thing I noticed was that it was 36 minutes long. Uh, this is the longest episode of the season thus far. Um, and since season, since episode one, which happened to be directed by tonight's or the most recent episode uh, uh, director, M. Knight directed this uh, in the first episode. And something I noticed throughout the season, I really noticed it, that every other episode, uh, the director directs one episode and directs the next one. We get a new director and next one. So this is M. Knight's first time coming back since episode one. And uh, I can see why he decided to direct this episode because it had a lot to it. And let's just break it down, guys. So first off, we start off with seeing the birth of baby Jericho in the home, not in the hospital, which again kind of goes back to this house being a little bit more important and having, you know, as the dad mentioned in last week's episode, there's a lot of ghosts in this house uh, and we and we find out one of the ghosts. So we see the birth of baby Jericho. We see uh, that they keep uh, the placenta of the baby. Uh, they keep it in the freezer. You know, um, I'm thinking that Sean's going to make a dish out of it. <laughs> but anyway, we see that and the nurse um, suggests uh, that it can help with postpartum. Uh, and that's why they decide to keep it. Uh, we see Dorothy taking selfies with the baby. Now, I'm not a parent, uh, nor have I babysit the baby that new or that, you know, the, a newly born baby. But I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to take pictures of the baby, especially that close and so new to being born. Uh, and 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 that's when it kind of hit me that, you know, and, and not jump into conclusions, but to me, it seems like Dorothy might be one of those parents or, 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 or uh, you know, someone that wants to be a parent and, and loves the idea of being a parent, but doesn't really understand a lot of the ins and outs. Again, I'm not a parent, but I can, I know it's a lot to, to raise a child. Um, and I know I was a lot raising, you know, but I, I, there's, it just seems like, you know, her taking the selfies and want to show her, her baby off to the world and not really want to focus on taking care of the baby and, 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 you know, maybe not worrying about what the world thinks of the baby. And we'll talk about that a little bit later, but later, but we see her taking selfies with the, uh, the baby. We find, out a news clip that has been 11 days that she's had the baby. She's been away from work uh, as the news clip shared uh, in the little clip that we get there. From there we see uh, from the episode right off the bat, you know, some things I definitely noticed was M. Night's take on the show because again, all the episodes thus far have been dark and gloomy. There's been rain. There's been different elements. It's very, the, the color palette looked a little bit darker, but this one, right off the bat, I noticed it was a little bit more stylized. It had a little bit more colors to it uh, because it felt more hopeful. Again, that was when Baby Jericho was alive. So I noticed that right off the bat in regards to the tone and, and the look and the feel of the episode. But we see a shot of Dorothy, uh, what looks to be picking out nannies. Uh, one of the nannies, I don't know if it was in any of um, importance, but some of the nannies, you saw their names. One of them was Taylor Smith, and you saw another one later on, and eventually we get to Leanne, which we'll talk a little bit about later. But we see uh, Dorothy kind of looking through those nannies, which we, at that, you know, at that point, you know, not knowing what happened to baby Jericho, but it was like, you know, they wish, I wish they would have got a nanny sooner rather than later. Uh, we see Sean uh, gets his opportunity to go out to California to, to film this cooking show, and we see he goes out there, and Dorothy seems to be a little bit jealous. Uh, we see Dorothy and uh, Julian sharing a little bit of a bonding brother and sister moment as them, you know, uh, having a conversation about Jericho's name and this, that, and the other, you know, and Julian having some funny lines there. Uh, next, we see Sean, you know, he eventually does leave to go to California. Leaving um, Dorothy and Jericho by themselves alone, and we see these shots. We continue to see these shots of the episode 
of the window being open and the breeze coming in. And, and I thought, like, at this point, not knowing what happened to Jericho, I'm thinking, that, did he crawl out of the window? Did a bird come in? And, and, and you know, I'm not I'm laughing, but did a, did a bird come in and eat baby Jericho? Like, what happened? Um, you know, but we see those continuous shots. And at this point, you know, we see Sean is on the TV and you know, he's on his TV show. And uh, we see that, you know, uh, it looks like the baby might have a fever. And, and Dorothy at this point seems to be very frustrated with, you know, number one, being a new new mom. And this baby's crying and her husband's out of town. So we see that she's definitely getting a little bit of frustration there, especially with Sean not being there. Uh, we get more shots of uh, Dorothy kind of doing a routine, you know, taking the baby in after, you know, going grocery shopping or doing her, you know, her errands. And, you know, we see this kind of song and dance of the baby's crying and we see her slowly getting more from her outfits to the her tone, her her mood. It gets a little, you can see she's getting more and more frustrated and, 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 and about the situation that she's in. Um, and we, you know, we, we know that she needs help, you know, and she doesn't have the help because Sean's out of, out of town. We get more shots of her and the baby crying. Again, uh, Dorothy is continuing to look for a nanny uh we get this very interesting moment what seems to me to be the moment um you know with with the baby on uh it was a moment where she was getting the the um the yellow pajamas that we've seen quite a few times in this in this show and it seemed like at that point it was like i don't know if it was me but dorothy was out of that room for a very long time especially for the baby being on the changing table uh which is off the floor so i'm just like dorothy where are you at and at that moment again the window was open i'm thinking is does something come in and get the baby but we see she eventually shows up and walks in with those yellow pajamas that i had mentioned that we've seen quite a few times throughout this season and I thought at that moment, it's like, okay, something's going to happen soon. Because again, we've seen that yellow uh, pajama suit or outfit a couple times. So then we get, um, you know, the moment, the, the moment that happens, you know, we've all heard stories. You might've happened to it. It happened to me. I got lost in the store. You know, I hear, you know, my friends, moms forgot the kids in the, in the car after putting the groceries up, but uh, you know, it's a serious moment. So we find out what happens to Jericho. So we see Dorothy, you know, does her routine. She parks her car. Uh, she gets the groceries out of the car. She walks into the house. She proceeds to put the groceries in the uh, the refrigerator. Uh, she goes upstairs. She's on her phone in the bathroom. She takes a nap. And in the meantime, we're noticing, I'm like, okay, either I missed it. Like, she didn't have the baby when she walked in the house. So it's at that point where you're starting to put two and two together. You know, there's, there's a shot where they show that the, the temperature in New York at the time is, or not in New York, but they're in Pennsylvania, but the temperature is well over 100 degrees. And baby Jericho is in the car. Uh, it, it's at that moment where I'm just like, uh, so this is what it, where where it happens, you know. At this point, I'm losing my mind. I'm like, I'm just shocked. I'm like, wow, so, you know. And it's, um, yeah, it's a dark moment. It's uh, in night. Shyamalan does such a great job of just capturing that that stillness and that, you know, as an audience member, you're just like. You're just heartbroken. I, 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 at least I can speak for myself. I was just um, heartbroken I, at that moment because I'm like, the baby's in the car. The windows are up. The, the doors are closed. Uh, it's 100 plus degrees. It, it was just heartbreaking. Um, you know, and she eventually goes to, um, to check on the baby. Uh, and, and she notices it's not in the crib. Uh, from that point, we get uh, we, we're back in the present time, and we get a car alarm that's going off, and, and Leanne's on the on the uh, the bed, and Dorothy's like, "What's going on?" You know, turn off the car alarm, and she had mentions to her, you know, Sean's that he's out of town or he's out getting fish or getting food or whatever, uh, and you know, they finally get the keys and cut off the car. Uh, so then we know, you know, like I said, um, Leanne she knows at this point uh, what happened because we obviously know from last week's episode, Julian told Leanne what happened. Uh, we see Dorothy you know, gets her period, uh, and, you know, and that's where Leanne brings up, oh, it's maybe time for you to bring another child in this world. I'm thinking to myself, no, it is not. No more child uh, being born or being brought to this earth uh, with the Turner family, but, you know, she says that moment to her, and, you know, they have a little bit of a fight, Dorothy and Leanne, you know, as the episode synopsis says, you know, Dorothy, uh, uh, Leanne gets a little defiant with her in this episode, and she definitely does, so, you know, they have a little bit of a conversation there, a little bit of a fight, a verbal fight, uh, and Leanne acts, uh, Dorothy, Dorothy, uh, can I cook for you? Can I cook you breakfast? And she does. She proceeds to do so. And that's a very important scene. Uh, so we see Dorothy's cooking this breakfast and Sean, you know, doing Sean as he always does. He's helping her out with the food and mentions to her a very interesting line that, you know, Dorothy thinks she likes hot food or spicy food, but she really doesn't. As long as she thinks it does, you know, that that she thinks she's eating hot food, which alludes to her thinking about the baby doll. As long as the, there's a doll there, she thinks that it's actually Jericho, which goes back to her psyche. Um, and we see, you know, as Leanne is taking the food up to her, Sean mentions to her it's not a crime. Uh, and, and it happens to a lot more people than you think. Very interesting line by Sean there. The 
moment I really laughed at uh, was when uh, Dorothy, you know, she's put on this bathing suit, this swimwear, and uh, Leanne says a very nice comment to her about her swimwear and uh, that she has a little bit more extra pounds on her and that the news people should expect that after having this baby. I thought it was a very funny moment. But anyway, Dorothy runs. Um, uh, to her car as Sean uh, tells her, no, don't go in the car. I got food in there. And then we see her throw up. Uh, and then she mentions that it might have been something that she ate. Going back to our last scene, something that she ate was something that Leanne cooked for her. So is it poison? Is it something that she knew? Is she messing with her at this point? I don't know. Let me know your theories, your comments below, what you think she did to her food as far as tampering with her food for her to be throwing up. Uh, you know, last week we saw her taking off her necklace. You know, we still got the thing about Sean. I don't know if they're going to get back to it with him not having his taste buds and the and the wood coming out of his neck. So I don't know. Maybe Leanne has uh, something going on with the food and that's going to be messing with Dorothy. So, um, you know, Sean, uh, again, I think now he's now suspecting that Leanne has done something because he actually takes the food uh, and puts it in the freezer next to the placenta. Uh, so we'll, we'll see if Sean now is more uh, uh, on the suspicious side of Leanne like he was very earlier in the season. So now back to the flashback, we see Dorothy um, slowly walking downstairs, making her way to the car. And this is, again, M. Night did a, such a great job of just, just keeping the, the frame steel and, and letting us sit in that moment. Uh, but she eventually grabs the baby um and goes into the house and then this is where we kind of see really sad moment in my opinion because it's just like Dorothy she doesn't know what to do she's broken down at this point because she realizes that the baby's dead um you know we see she grabs the baby she goes in the house she takes a bath with the baby um you know she goes um we see her doing her routine of feeding the baby uh does some stuff in the house it's just really sad, you know, at this point. We see that an order comes in from Sean, and the order that comes in is from the meat that was laid out on the table that we were all, you know, everyone in the comment last week was like, what's on the table? Is it meat? Is it ham? Is it something unworldly? But it is meat that Sean had delivered, and we see the Dorothy holding the dead baby and saying that my husband's going to be mad at you, uh, and then we go back to the present timeline. The car alarm again is going off, and it's continuing to go off, and Leanne, um, or we see Dorothy go outside even, and then we see people looking at her all weird, and we see that it's Leanne. She's She's messing with her. I, I I don't know what Leanne's trying to do. Maybe she's trying to get her to break, you know, messing with the car, messing with the food, you know, making, making her remember what she did. Um, so we see that moment there. Back to the flashback, we now see the meat is complete, completely bad from what we saw when Julian came to the house. Sean, um, you know, they're having a conversation on, on Skype, on FaceTime. Sean mentions that he has to stay out of town a little bit longer. And we hear Dorothy kind of say under her breath, uh, her breath, come home. She says it really quietly. And Sean's like, oh, you know, I'll be home. I got another little thing to do or whatever. And, and you know, he's like, you know, you should really hire a nanny. You know, and, you know, it's just like you guys should have hired a nanny day one. Uh, but we see, you know, she comes across Leanne's picture. Again, if you all uh, uh, took a, a screenshot of it, if you saw any, I don't know, who was it? Remind me again, who was it that uh, suggested Leanne to work for them? I couldn't see it on the paper there. But uh, we see the baby monitor goes off. And at this point, I'm like, is the creepiness already happening? Is, is there some sinister, some supernatural stuff? But the baby that uh, Dorothy hears on the monitor, it happens to be a missed signal maybe. I'm thinking that at least it was, that it was just a cross signal of another mom and a baby uh, uh, that you hear there. So we see Dorothy just freaks out at this point. She slaps herself in the face and almost looks like she was having a seizure. Uh, we see that she's laid up in her bed. She's in that same state of mind that we've seen her done a couple times in this season thus far when she was looking in the refrigerator and a couple other times in the season. We see in the meantime, you know, Sean sending her text messages on the, on the iPad uh, and there's no response and that's where we kind of pick up the pieces now you know you assume that Sean had uh Julian go over there to check on her and that's where we get the scene from last week seeing that Julian walked into the house and and found what I proceed to uh to believe uh baby Jericho in the crib dead uh so it kind of puts us back in the current timeline Dorothy watches uh the Elizabeth the new uh anchor of the show doing the swimming segment as she jumps in the pool uh Sean and Leanne uh, or Sean has Leanne test a very deadly uh, blowfish, uh, which could potentially kill her. Uh, Sean, you know, has her eat it and needs her honest opinion. And this is where we get some honesty out of Leanne, you know, in regards to asking Sean, uh, why do you stay with her? Uh, and Sean tells her it was an accident. You know, people make mistakes all the time. You know, she waited for me for four days to come home. And then he blames it all on himself. And that's where Leanne, you know, we see her take another bite, but we've seen her, she's, she's tearing up and describes the, the, the blowfish that 
that she's eating as a bruised fruit or something like an apple that stayed in the sun too long. Very, very important line there because it kind of correlates to what happened to baby Jericho, if, if you ask me. Uh, last shot of the episode, we see Dorothy and the baby uh, holding the baby and Leanne rushes in there, takes the baby from her. And she says she's sick. You don't want the baby to get sick. You don't want it to catch the bug. She knows best for the baby. You know, it's for what's best for baby Jericho. Uh, and we get the last shot of Dorothy walking out of the, the, the baby's room, looking behind her shoulder as Leanne shuts the door on her and Dorothy watches it. So, wow, what an episode. You know, what happened in Jericho was even darker and even more disturbing than what I could have imagined uh, in regards to how it all played out with Dorothy forgetting the baby in the car. Um, you know, again, like I had mentioned up top, you know, um, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but Dorothy just kind of seems like a character or uh, a mother or a parent that, that likes the idea of being a parent but doesn't have the necessary tools or the, or the, or the right mindset to be a parent at the time, you know, and you know, we saw how it happened. It can happen very easily. I, like they, you know, it is a TV show, but Sean had mentioned, I, I would imagine this happens a lot. You know, like I said, it, it was something that happened to me. My mom forgot me in the store one time. I was a little bit older. I wasn't a baby. Uh, and I've heard, you know, people leaving their kids on the car when they're switching out groceries. You hear those stories. Uh, but then it's, you know, it's very unfortunate when the stories come true and, the, you know, something further happens. It doesn't, you know, they don't remember that the kid's on the car after two minutes. They, you know, we see what happens with Dorothy. They forget the kid in the, in the car. And, and unfortunately, you know, things like that happen. So very emotional episode. M. Night Shaman and I did a great job of just creating that sense of, of dread and uh, holding the shot and making you feel uncomfortable and making you feel that without saying anything and no noise, no crazy score overtaking the scene. I just thought it was a beautiful episode. It's my favorite episode of the season this far uh, because not only did, it, did we get an answer, you know, this, this season definitely kind of poses a lot of questions, a lot of questions, and we don't get it much of it, but this episode gives us one of the biggest questions, which was uh, what happened to baby Jericho. So questions I have moving forward with only, um, you know, one episode left uh because we have our season finale did dorothy get poisoned by leanne um you know i'm curious now in the situation now that she knows what happens to the baby and the baby died what did natalie do what was her suggestion to cover was it a cover-up uh you know what was julian's part in it? what did sean suggest to do what did the other family members uh suggest to do with this situation um you know how how did they handle the situation i, I really want to know that because again you know uh, yes it was an accident but we saw in the episode that dorothy had the baby around like it was still alive. She took a bath with the baby. She had men in her house with the, the delivery and, and doing just normal stuff with the baby being dead. So really interested to see how that all kind of came about. Uh, and again, like I said, I want to know what Leanne did to Dorothy's food. Uh, who recommended, again, I might not be remembering, but who was it that recommended Dorothy to be their nanny? Remind me in the comments. Will Uncle, Uncle George return? Uh, will Wanda and Leanne continue to team up? Because again, I think a lot of you had suggested in the comments last week that it was Leanne and and Wanda are maybe helping each other out that she's bringing in this baby and taking the baby out and it might not be a supernatural thing going on with the baby so um what's going on with Toby uh and will Leanne just take the baby back after finding out what uh you know uh, Dorothy did so let me know your comments below again I thought this was a fantastic episode uh let me know your thoughts in the comments below like I said up top subscribe to my channel hit that bell so you can stay up to date with my content we got one episode left uh very excited to see what the season finale has for us like I said up top we got a contest going on for Joker hit that button above my head to see how I can win this uh this movie uh for all my movie fans I uh, got some new reviews on my channel now just mercy 19 17 underwater and coming pretty soon uh sunday to be exact i will be uh sharing my top 10 movies of 2019 so definitely keep an eye out for that video thank you all again for watching this review and we'll see you in the next video